my journey with subculture. I actually bought this the day it released. I remember purchasing it online because I saw this color story and I was entranced. I cannot get over how much to this day I still love this color story. So this project is really going to be challenging me to use basically this half of the palette. I am really excited about this project because Subculture is a palette that just keeps pulling me in time and time and time again. I kept going through my collection and thinking, what can I stick to for a year? And I was going through palettes and I was like, oh, what about the sweet peach palette? Oh, what about, you know, a green palette? Oh, what about this palette? And I would think, okay, that'd be nice. But whenever I thought of subculture, I kept thinking, oh, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do this video idea, I can do these kind of looks for a certain video, I can do these looks on an everyday work basis, I can do these looks when I want to be dramatic. I, I just wasn't as inspired by any other palette as I was with this one. I honestly can't believe we're here. <laughs> I just spent the last, I don't know, half an hour, 30 minutes, watching my old playlist, not my old playlist, but this playlist back of my journey throughout, not only just panning this palette, but through 2019. I went through a lot this year, and I'm just really happy with how this year went. It was, I didn't hit like some goals I had set for myself like personally this year, but like I think this is the first year where like I'm okay with that. But I did hit one specific goal. And that was to pan ABH's subculture palette. Yeah, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. I did a pretty damn good job here. <laughs> so let's, before I start getting rambly and reflective, let's go ahead and run this slideshow, screenshot and slideshow of my pan progress through all of 2019. And here's my palette now. Not much to see there, is it? I will say my palette is pretty battered after a year of straight use. Most of the shade names are rubbed off. You can see like the materials rubbed off here. The hinges are kind of worn and fallen off. And I'm actually like really happy with that. Like it shows good use because I used up the whole palette. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and I honestly when I started this I just watched my intro video first of all I also saw the progress of my hair this year which whoa <laughs> it was that was before my first curly haircut was my intro and, and so we've come a long way since then <laughs> uh, my hair has definitely gone through a whole journey and I was also wearing the same headband in the intro so full full circle so I made a lot of journey or no I made a lot of journey I made a lot of progress with not only my hair, but with like the way I approach makeup. This was such a good challenge. I honestly think I picked the best palette to pan for 2019. It challenged me. It really made me think outside the box and it really made me like excited to do makeup every day. Like I'm already like 
you know, I've got a huge collection. I love doing my makeup. I already like it. But this gave me something like every day. But okay, bam, how am I going to use subculture today? What am I going to use it with? How am I going to pair this? What am I going to do today? Am I going to make it dramatic? Am I going to try to go to work with this? And speaking of work, it actually this palette made me feel more comfortable with wearing more dramatic eye looks, which I really appreciate because I used to be so afraid of like wearing certain eye looks to work when in like reality there is technically no dress code where I work there's kind of like a standard you know like there's a unspoken kind of thing going on but I already kind of dress among the nicest dresses and dressers in the office I like to wear dresses just because they're comfortable I can wear leggings underneath them in like the winter in the summer you can just wear the dresses so I already like people say I dress up but like our finance department they wear suits and like so so like I'm not like at a place but there's a huge variety in our office because there is no set dress code so some people show up in jeans and a t-shirt and hoodies some people show up in full sh like suits like I said so I kind of fall closer to like the suit end of the spectrum and not once has anyone ever said anything negative about my makeup? If anything, it's a conversation starter and people like are drawn to me because of it. I know there's that argument where it's like, well, maybe it's not the most professional, but I like to say that my work speaks for itself and the majority of the people I actually work with on a regular basis are around the world, not only around the country. So I work with them mostly through like webcam. <laughs> So that makeup, of course, works in my favor because it doesn't show up as dramatic on camera as it does in real life. So I, that went on a weird tangent, but like I was just realizing all of this and I'm just, it just made me more comfortable and more, um, what I'm trying to say, more, I can't think of words, more sure of myself. That is it. Um, I had the confidence in myself to actually wear the looks, which is new to me. Confidence? Who is she? so those are kind of all the thoughts that came to me as I was reflecting on this past year because it wasn't just the fact that like I finished this palette it was what I found while finishing the palette and that's all, that's the cheesiest thing I think I've ever said but I think this is like one of my favorite parts of my YouTube channel is doing a pan that palette. I'm definitely going to be doing one for 2020 and I really think this is like the only year long project that like I enjoy because <laughs> I'm actually about to finish or film my finale for my 9 pan 19 and that didn't go nearly as well as <laughs> this project did. Something else I want to say because I've just I've literally just been staring at this empty palette thinking okay so what did you learn this year? What did you take away from this? And I want to say a big part of it was my channel. A lot of my subscribers found me through panning this palette and I've gotten so many comments and messages from people who either loved the palette as much as I did or were really wanting to pick up the palette but had no idea how to work with it or had no idea how to make it wearable. A lot of the comments were like, wow, you made subculture, even like the darkest looks, you made them look so wearable and so everyday and not just like editorial like a lot of the bigger beauty YouTubers would do. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm so happy that so many other people were also able to get so much out of this project like I was. No, oh, I'm not gonna cry. It's, oh my God, I'm actually gonna tear up. <laughs> oh, oof. So I actually officially finished this palette on December 21st, the day before my birthday. And I, I filmed a little bit of it. On my phone so let's just I'll throw in those clips right here okay so I don't want to like post this on Instagram or anything just to ruin anything but I really wanted to document this moment I am about to finish my pen that palette you see that tiny little bit of destiny left that's gonna go on my lower lash line and then it'll be done it'll, it's December 21st today and I'm about to finish the palette And that will be a wrap. So that was the last time I used Subculture. And I know people are going to ask me, are you going to rebuy it? I'm not going to repurchase this. I'm going to keep the packaging. Like I kept my empty palette for my first pan that palette, the Marc Jacobs. I still have that empty palette on display. This is going to go on display right next to it. 
I don't want to repurchase it because I spent a year with it. I really am familiar now with the ABH formula, specifically with subculture, and I do still have the Bad Habit dupe palette. So if I'm ever really wanting to do a specific look, I've got that dupe palette. Unfortunately, it's no longer available, and I don't really know um, about if there are any current really good dupe palettes for this, but I would say out of at the end of this whole project, if you saw subculture and you were intrigued by the color story and if you were scared off by like the drama that happened when it first came out I would say pick it up watch my whole playlist of all of my updates in this project and you could learn along with me I honestly think at the end of this that this palette was worth it I loved the color story I loved the looks and I loved the journey oh my god so before I become a blubbering mess let's just go ahead and end this uh this is going up on December 31st so happy happy New Year's Eve to everyone I am actually wearing my 2020 pan that palette on my eyes right now so that introduction for my 2020 pan that palette will be going up tomorrow on January 1st same time same place so thank you everyone who went on this journey with me thank you for those who found my channel through this and stuck around i hope you'll stay around for my other content and for my 2020 pen that palette as well from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye